I'm Jacob and this is Sam and we're from Science for Kids. Hi Sam. How are you mate? Good. Yeah, good. Alright, what are we going to do today, um, Sam? We're gonna make honeycomb. Honeycomb, can you feel that? What's that feel like? Um hot. Hot, very hot. Let's put the saucepan on on the hot one. And what are you putting in there? Sugar cubes. Sugar cubes, okay. Sam's gonna put lots of sugar cubes in there. And are the sugar cubes solid, liquid or gas? You think the sugar cubes are gas? I don't think so. I think the sugar cubes might be a solid, Sam. Well, they have a fixed shape. So gases, they fill up the room. But solids, solids are hard. Oh, okay, I'm gonna tip the whole bag in. The whole bag? Oh no! <laughs> woo, woo, woo. They're all gonna melt. They're gonna melt? That's a good word. What is melting, Sam? Like they burn up. Um, Melting's when they go from a solid to a... Um, they go from a solid... Oh look, they're smoking too. Melting's when they go from a solid to a... Liquid. Liquid. Yeah, they're turning to a liquid. See how they You can sort of see that they're going a little bit soft on the base. And a little bit runny. Run, run, runny. The sugar cubes are melting. They're changing shape. And they're going smaller and smaller. The particles are moving apart. And so the particles are running over each oh, other. Oh, what's that? Now, add some Honeycomb. water. Okay. Oh, look at the steam. Steam's a gas. Here's a gas, Sam. Hey, that's a gas. I don't have a little bit of it. Yeah, so this will... Oh, are you tasting it, are you? Do you want to stir that up, Sam? We're dissolving the sugar cubes now, Sam. The sugar cubes are dissolving in that water. Oh, you're crushing them up, are you? That's going to help dissolve them a bit quicker. Now, there's something else on this table that we need to add. Um, honey. Honey. Oh. And it. Oh, yeah, we do that last. I'm going to try it. So, let's add some honey. You can't really call it honeycomb without honey, can you? Yeah. Scrape it off the bottom. Give it a good mixy, 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 yeah? Starting to boil. It tastes nice. You can see the steam coming off. And the bubbles. And the bubbles, when things boil, what do they do? No, not yet, Sam. When things boil, they bubble. We've basically had a lot of ooh, physical changes, a lot of changes that have been easy to reverse. But now we're waiting for a chemical change. A chemical change is where a chemical reaction happens and it's a lot harder to reverse. We can start seeing something happening here. We can see that the bubbles are slowing down and the bubbles are getting bigger. That's a good sign that something is happening. No, they will put that in last. Do you know how you smell things in science? Do you want me to show you? This is how. You don't put your nose over it. You go, you waft it. You waft it towards your nose. Can you waft it? Here, towards your nose. Where's your nose? There's your nose. Waft it towards your nose. That's right. Mm. And you think we need it to go almost like the car almost like the colour of this honey. Going slow, and it's forming a thread. Oh, like toffee, don't drip it onto the table, drip it onto the pan. Okay, oh, that will be very hot. Lick your finger if it's hot. Is it hot? Oh, I'm liking this colour, Sam. I'm liking this golden brown. Oh, this is delicious. I can see a chemical change happening because there's a, a new colour, a new colour brown forming. And that's a good indication that we've got a chemical reaction. Oh, it's getting so close. Don't burn yourself, Sam, because this, this would really hurt a lot. Oh, nice thick bubbles, it's thickening up nicely. Oh, it's looking delicious. I might take the heat off. So we need some bicarb soda. And then I'll mix it in. Mix it in like this. Oh, oh look, baking soda Drift. decomposes into carbon dioxide gas. I'm going to tip this out into this baking, baking tray. Sort of want it to cool down so it stops cooking because I think I might have cooked it a bit much. So, and it looks like fairy floss on the outside. All those gas bubbles, 
goes into the toffee, causing it to froth up. And that's what's called honeycomb. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us for this physical change where the sugar cubes turn from a solid into a liquid. And we also had another physical change when the water evaporated up and turned into steam. And then we had a chemical reaction when the sugar changed and started getting a bit burnt. And then the final chemical reaction was when the bicarb soda underwent a decomposition reaction and partly turned into carbon dioxide gas. And those gas bubbles got trapped in the toffee. And that's what makes honeycomb. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you again soon. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>